Welcome to the National Timely Action Hour podcast. I'm your host, Aiden. This is the show where we discuss everything from comic books to The Lord of the Rings and everything in between. Episode 14, Comic Book Characters and Their Religions. So, the genesis, if you will, of this episode came to me a few days ago when I was watching a video on youtube.com where it was t discussing the thing uh, from the Fantastic Four and it I was reminded that Benjamin Grimm the thing himself is a practicing Jew and it uh, inspired me to recall various different times in the comics where characters you know state their religious beliefs or you know if they went to a, a temple or a church you know that sort of thing and so i went online to uh double check because i wanted to make sure i was giving you guys the right information and i found this uh, really cool website called comicbookreligion.com and uh this is a uh website that discusses and uh, goes in depth with sources of the characters and their beliefs. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. So I made a list of a few characters that I like that I knew had uh, religious beliefs, and then I wrote them down. So I just wanted to, you know, share them with you. So at the top of the list, I've got Superman. And uh, Superman, as you know, is the first comic book superhero, so I thought, why not start with him? And Superman is kind of strange because it depends on the writer, but each writer has him fall within three religious beliefs, again, depending on who's writing it. Sometimes they'll say that he is Jewish, other times they will say that he is Christian, and then others will say that he follows the Kryptonian religion. And uh, on Krypton, they worshipped this god named Rao, who was a sun god. And uh, the name and the you know actual sun god part is derived from the ancient Egyptian uh, mythology, where their sun god, their chief god deity pagan thing was called uh raw and uh you know that's what the writers did uh, when they created that but yeah sometimes he will worship uh jehovah and then other times he'll worship rao but it depends on the writer and then uh following that his wife lois lane is roman catholic and, yeah, that makes sense. And so, yeah, Lois Lane, wife of Superman, Roman Catholic. And then we have uh, Batman. And, again, it depends on the writer. Sometimes they will say that he is Jewish. Other times they will say that he is Christian, to be some more specific Protestant. And both make sense, but, you know, it depends on the writer. And then we have Wonder Woman. Hers is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, she follows the ancient Greek religion. You know, she worships the uh, ancient pagan Greek gods. You know, like uh, Hera, Athena, Zeus, that sort of thing. And then with Aquaman, again, same thing. But, you know, Greco-Roman because they say Poseidon or Neptune sometimes. And for those of you who are unaware, the ancient Romans based their their society off of the ancient Greeks. And they followed basically the same religion, but they changed the names of their gods. So like uh, Poseidon, the sea god, was Neptune. And uh, Hera was Juno, that sort of thing. And then over at Marvel Comics, the Submariner... Uh, also follows that same belief because again he's the king of the sea he rules atlantis poseidon neptune that sort of thing staying over at marvel we have uh 
Captain America, who is Roman Catholic, and uh, that makes sense. His uh, parents were immigrants from Ireland, so that makes sense. And then we go over to the Fantastic Four, and again, the genesis of this episode came from me being reminded that the thing the one of the founding members of the fantastic four is jewish and his uh best friend dr reed richards mr fantastic uh he is christian uh because you know why not and he has met the fantastic four have met god uh my god the god of israel i'm not jewish but i am christian we believe the same god but anyway um yeah the fantastic four so dr reed richards and his wife susan are christian and her brother johnny the human torch is also christian and again that makes sense now we have the amazing spider-man and he is Jewish, and uh, in recent years, Marvel Comics has been leaning more into that. But uh, yeah, it makes sense that Spider Man is Hebrew. And uh, then we have Hulk. So, Dr. Bruce Banner, it says on this website, uh, comicreligion.com, uh, comicbookreligion.com, uh, it says that he is Roman Catholic, and in the comics that I've read, uh, they never really specified. But, you know, he does believe in God in the ones that I have read. So it makes sense. And then, uh, going on to the X-Men, they are, uh, the majority of them are Christian. Uh, for example, Nightcrawler, who is uh, from Germany, he is Roman Catholic. And Professor X, the founder of the team, is also Christian. Uh, but then we've got Storm, who is who was born and raised in Kenya, and uh, there she is worshipped as a goddess. So, she's the odd woman out there. And uh, then we go on to Image Comics, and uh, there we have their main guy, Spawn. He used to be an atheist, but now he knows that heaven and hell do exist. I mean, he's met god and the devil so obviously you'll acknowledge their existence and uh the last one i have written down is uh, archie andrews it says here that he is protestant and you know i just thought you know a lot of people like archie i've read a few of of his comics i'm not necessarily a fan but they're fun stories but yeah archie's a protestant <laughs> excuse me and uh yeah, those are the main ones I wanted to talk about. But, you know, you've got other uh, characters like... Um, uh, what's another one here? Uh, buh, buh, buh. Sorry, trying to remember. Uh, Robin, yeah. He's also uh, Protestant. So is uh, Green Lantern. Wait, no. Uh, Green Lantern is uh catholic sorry i misread that and uh and then we've got like green arrow who's a marxist and i'm like that's not really a religion so i would say atheist but freaking green arrow he's stupid like hawkeye people are like oh hawkeye's got a show on disney plus he must be cool no he's not he's hawkeye He's the worst Avenger. Just like how Green Arrow is the worst Justice Leaguer. Or whatever you want to say for that. But uh, yeah. I just uh, wanted to go over some of that for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. In case you were curious such as I was. But uh, yeah. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you are new to my podcast, then please consider subscribing so that you can uh, get more content like this. I 
have been trying to improve the quality of my podcast episodes as well as my uh, videos on youtube.com and on youtube i my channel's name is the national timely action hour so if you wanted to subscribe to me there and see cool comic book reviews or movie tv reviews or some gameplay then uh, please consider doing that and uh, if you want to get updates or message me uh, about the National Timely Action Hour podcast or YouTube channel, you can join my Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com forward slash National Timely, or you can go to twitter.com forward slash Dabuda99. And uh, you can also uh, join the my Discord server. Just type in the National Timely Action Hour. I don't remember the exact like part of it, but... Uh, yeah, uh, on Discord, you can send me memes, and I'll send you memes. We can chat. You can get updates. Uh, you can also uh, get information on the National Time Reaction Hour dot com, my official website, where I uh, do blog posts and updates, and you know, just general stuff. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you would to if you would go to Patreon dot com forward slash Aiden Vaughn, that's A-I-D-A-N-V-A-U-G-H-A-N, my name with no spaces or capital letters, and uh, you can donate as little as $3, or, you know, you can make a custom one where it's like a dollar or something, but the here in Canada, the lowest one they would let me do is $3, but um, there you can get early access to my posts for the podcast and for YouTube. Uh, you can also message me, and uh, you can uh, get access to some of my writing projects. I am an aspiring writer, and I've uh, uploaded a couple things that I've written on my Patreon page. And uh, you can also vote in polls to see uh, what I will discuss next on the podcast or on YouTube. And uh, you can... Also get merchandise with my, you know, um, channel logo on like a coffee mug or a shirt or a sweater. And uh, I would just greatly appreciate it if you would do that um, there because, you know, I'll be able to improve the quality with by getting, you know, more books to review and stuff like that. But I've got new equipment. Uh, thanks to my family for this Christmas. So thank you. Uh, to my family for that and uh, thank you to those who do support me on patreon.com uh, I'm eternally grateful for you for that and uh, I'm eternally grateful for you just for listening to this episode of my podcast and to those of you who have continued to listen and continue to watch my videos I do this to entertain you and to inform you on these topics you know just for fun I'm very passionate about this stuff, so, you know, I have been since I was a little boy, so I just wanted to, you know, share this with you guys. So thank you so much for listening. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it, and I sincerely hope that you have a wonderful day, and that you continue to have a great day, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.